Hello everyone, this is Mahesh. I would like to explain the concept of you know, multi-arg access control MOAC in short, it will be called in Oracle applications. So multi-arg multi -arc access control is a feature, actual feature uh, using, using which we can create a transactions without changing the responsibility. For multiple operating units, we can uh, do the transaction, we can perform the transactions in the same operating unit. So I would like to, you know, like walk, walk you th through the you know, presentation first, then I will show you how to uh, create in the system uh, uh, and also I will test the uh, multi access control, how it works in the e-business application. So overview of multi arc access control, I will, I will explain you and also setting up of micro uh, multi arc access control. Then once once we you set up the multi arc access control, we can we need we have to test it right. So I will show you how to test also. So the I have documented the entire screenshots everything for your reference. So and also I'll I'll show you how to you know like to enable this feature using multi arc access control feature. You can access process and report on multiple operating units from uh, multiple from a single responsibility you can access multiple operating units without changing the responsibility the same responsibility we can uh, change the operating unit and to start performing the transaction that's like invoice so right now while focus on only the payables we can do it uh, for all the transactions wherever this feature is enabled right so let's move on to the uh, course uh, contents. So this is basically, you know, like six, six, six steps actually. So first step is we have to create a, a global security profile. And then uh, after creating the global security profile, we have to, you know, like uh, run the security list maintenance program. So this is a background, background, background program, which will enable all the required features, right? So then uh, create a custom responsibility because we, we cannot enable for the you know like uh, and test it for the uh, standard responsibility because somebody will be using it right so i will we have to create a custom responsibility and then assign the security profile uh, to, to it and then once we uh, created uh, these two setups right so basically we have to assign to a user for, for that user uh, this responsibility has to be assigned then finally we are going to test it actually right so first let me start with the global security profile right how how it can be created uh, for this we have to log into the oracle application so parallelly i will show you how to create uh, in the application as well so uh, this is one responsibility payable uh, vision operations in this one we have invoice workbench in the invoice workbench here we have the operating unit as a field but right now it's grayed out that means there is no multi arc access, access control feature enabled for this particular form. So we, we have to create a transactions only for uh, vision operations. We cannot create for any other operating unit. So to uh, enable uh, this multi arc access control, we have to go to, you know, human resources. human resources within, within enterprises and then security navigation and uh, global profile right so I'll maintain the almost same naming convention uh, maybe like I'll say uh, MB global profile one right and then uh, remaining all, you know, view employees, view contingent worker and view applications, everything can be, uh, let it be by default solved. And then main, uh, the main thing is like security type. Security type at view all organizations and a secure, uh, secure organization by organization hierarchy uh, list. So second option we have to select. Right. And then choose the specified top organization and then here, you no know, classifications. The classification we, we can go by our operating unit so we 
which are all the operating units has to be enabled for that particular uh, form right so that uh, can be decided here so i'll say like a vision operations right and then same classification vision operation and then one more will enter vision services so with this we have created our own uh, uh, custom global profile i'll save this one right so we have completed the first step and second step is uh, we to run the you know the security list maintenance program so by running this program we will ensure that all the security profile that have that you have created just now right are available for assignment to your responsibilities so basically the security profile uh, uh, after creating we have to run the uh, security list maintenance standard standard program right for this navigation is uh, same responsibility go to processes and reports and then you know like uh, submit processes and reports click on single request security list maintenance program right so here only one parameter uh, remaining can be uh, man by default right uh, the main parameter is generate lists for all global security profiles right so these values can be default uh, process is current people only and then static static user processing is process all static users right so click on okay click on submit once you submit this program let us monitor it for you know it completes triggers couple of uh, child programs so i'll pause it for some time till it uh, uh, yeah uh, welcome back all the uh, child programs have been completed uh, which are submitted by list uh, main so now the now our global profile uh, mb global profile one is available for you know to assign for responsibilities so if you look at our ppt we have completed uh, two setups and third one is to create new responsibility right let me create uh, almost same responsibility ending with uh, one to maintain the same naming convention right so for this we have to go to system administrator security responsibility define with the navigation i'll say like mb payables 1 right application is payables and uh, is i'll say mb underscore payables description can be same as this one right and then data group standard application can be payables and the menu right so the menu under which our uh, uh, all the forms are attached right so i'll use the standard ap navigate gui 8 this can yeah and request group all all reports right all 
and ports of cables correct so once we have done it let me check yeah so then save so we are not going to exclude any functions so the plain uh, cables custom responsibility is now ready and we can use it so the next step is assign the security profile right so this mo, MO security profile is the main profile which can which can be you know controls the list of operating units that is a responsibility our user can access right so let me navigate to the profile in the same system administrator profile navigation is profile system and then let me go with the user This is the user I am using and then M4 let me check M4 security profile It has to be set at uh, no, like responsibility level. Uh, Global or the profile, it's the global profile we are assigning to the responsibility using this profile. Save this. So, with this, we have concluded you know uh, the assignment of security profile as well. Then, create a user and assign the responsibility created responsibility. Or, if you have already user, if you have already user, assign this responsibility. To that user right since I have the user available I'm going to assign the MB cables one responsibility so with this we have assigned the responsibility as well now we go and test the multi arc access control for this responsibility that's enabled or not so MB payable one is the uh, newly created responsibility in, and the invoice workbench go to the Invoices in, in, entry and in, invoices. Right. See if you if you notice this here in the at the beginning of the session, I have showed you the, the standard uh, uh, form where the operating unit is in operations and this field is grayed out. Right. Now we, it's enabled and now we can uh, choose the whichever operating unit we want to create the transaction. Right now it's a uh, payable invoice. Correct. We can create the corporations. And we can get for uh, vision operations. We can get for services. So without changing the responsibility, we can do the transactions. Actually, this will save the time. So thanks for watching uh, this session.